generous. I am. So we are on our way yeah. to go meet a subscriber who is building a home nearby us. I think about five to ten minutes away. So I have the joy of vlogging and trying to find exactly where we're going at the same time. So we might take a short break there, but uh, he's a retired military guy and um, did 20 years in the Navy. And now he's living the dream in the Philippines. He's building his uh, his dream house with his Filipino wife. Yeah. And I don't really know much about their story, but he ran into me in town the other day and uh, he said, hey, I'm Tim. And so I'm at this point, I'm kind of used to people coming up to me. <laughs> For what it's worth um a hundred percent positive experience so far in person and uh, he said hey i got a question about how you how you move money back into the philippines and i suggested that he use transfer wise which i can share a link for that and uh how he gets how i get amazon here from uh lbc so shout out to big tech into a great shipping company, as I've said, LBC. So we are on our way there. Yeah. Chrissy is more interested because they're also talking about knowing someone who has farmland, which we're interested in purchasing. So we might keep those details a secret from you because I never show anything <laughs> online <laughs> that, that I personally am interested in until I've already taken some sort of ownership stake in it. So, um, if I'm showing it to you, that means it's not for me. That means, it doesn't mean that it's not good. But, um, <clears throat> why would I give all my secrets away? But we're trying this, uh, iPhone set up in the car. So we're hands-free, look at this. Uh -huh. And, uh, seeing how that works out as well. So, on our way to the town. And past the town, into, uh, the area of... Kind of a finger of, of a land that sticks out called uh, Taka'an. So, Taka'an. Taka'an? Yeah, Taka'an Beach. Okay. How was class today? I'm, I'm becoming, this uh, this is becoming a, a taxi. Yeah, you're a taxi yeah, driver. I'm a fake taxi driver. Timoy so. keeps on dropping me off at school. <laughs> college. Yeah. I'm like the college. Twice a day. I'm, I'm <laughs> twice a day. Yeah, I'm making the rounds. Driving it's about, for like how many hours? It's like 40. 30? How many hours? No, it's like 40. No, ash minutes. Mm -hmm. 40 minutes each way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if the uh, I wonder if the owner of the pharmacy is still here. That'd be really funny if we could yeah, show his car. Yes, There's someone good. with the exact same car as me in the town, by the way. And they're Filipino. So, oh, their car's here. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to flip it around. Oh, my. Oh, this is, this is perfect. This is perfect, guys. So. Only properly. So yeah, so this dude, not to not to shout him out too much, has the exact same vehicle as us, and uh, so people think that now that I'm him. Yeah. So he's a Filipino. So, guys, just because uh, you know this this is a very nice, obviously expensive vehicle, and I'm very blessed to have it. We're very blessed to have it, but it doesn't mean that people in the Filipino community don't have nice things or nicer things than Yo, us like, just because we're foreign we're foreigner half foreigner family does not mean that people do not have nice things around here so um <clears throat> i mean especially a lot of people are land rich and we are not <laughs> so anyway we are on the road down to uh mr sean's place and uh we'll see if we can catch up with him oh look at this Sorry. it's like a really massive crane of some sort that's some that's some uh, that's some that's some medium sized equipment right there. So I wonder what's going on here. This is good to see. This is a tourist van. There's some tourist areas down here. Yeah, wow, a lot of uh, maybe they're just using this as a staging area for their. Oh, well, they're trying to fix electricity. Big equipment. Yeah, maybe they're setting some poles. I don't really know what's in the back of these. I don't know. Somebody's gonna know what that is. Maybe some uh, shore protection, shoring. So 
Anyway, guys, we are on our way down, and uh, as you can see, there's still quite a bit of uh, damage. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's getting hot. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's hot. Let's turn the AC back on. <laughs> you're starting you're starting the vlog before before we're ready. I'm gonna stand over here because I'm gonna I'm gonna block out the wind a little bit with, with my giant body. But this is Sean. Sean's a recent Navy veteran. Uh, a recent retired. Navy retired. Retired, retired. Years ago. Oh you retired, retired 20, 20 years, years ago? In 2002. Oh okay. Yeah. I just we just moved here finally because I eventually convinced my wife to move here. Perfect. I politics in the in America, she finally said so. Yeah. Perfect. I completely understand that point of view, as do many people that are watching. <laughs> yes. yeah. And Chrissy had a question for you. When did, I mean, how did you find this? So my wife has been friends with the Orcas family since like 36 years ago. We, nobody knows who that is. Okay. The Orcas family, they, they, it's just uh, some friends that live here. Okay. When my wife's not from here. She's from Negros, from Wakola. Oh, okay. And so... She's been friends with them forever, and when we came here, and I came last time I came here was 2017, and that's when we bought the property. Yeah, uh, it's just three lots that they had together. They were selling it. We bought it. They, so the the size of the property is what? The our part of this down here at the end of the room here. That's the whole Orchids lot. So our property is 369 square meters. Oh, okay. So and you and you paid. Much. Not very much, and what what you, rate. you don't you don't need, you don't need to tell the details, but what what do you think the going rate is right now? The going rate for property up here is approximately a thousand pesos a square meter. Okay, someone just tried to sell me like seventeen hundred a square meter. Well, that that is uh, oh I know who you're talking about uh, off Mahaba Road. We'll talk later. Okay. Yeah. I don't so want to give away too that, many that, that's, uh, too many details. Yeah. I could get in trouble. There's yeah. a lot of people yeah. that watch this I know. stuff. Okay. So, um, and we have a friend who's American, and he's buying slash leasing. There's a lot of Americans yeah. on this road. Oh, there is. Or or British also, yeah. I think. Uh, well, uh, the British are gone pretty much. There's a Polish guy. So the British are not coming. No. One of, the, one, of the British, one of the British who is moving down here has decided they moved to Bye Bye. And the other British who actually owns land down here, he's currently living somewhere down by you. Everybody got displaced. Yeah. And that's how, because everything. But uh, During the. During, oh, during the cough and then um, the beer sickness. <laughs> and then. Uh, and then. Uh, oh, and then, then you add the, the typhoon on top of it, right as you're coming out of the recovery. And um, so nobody knows what's going on. They're this, moving all over the place. This is by your house uh, up there in uh, or oh. that, That's there where we got that. that oh, this show. this dirt is coming right from here. the pro that that project. Yeah. Yeah. I think you yeah. bought some of it a while back, didn't you? Well, you know, when you had that land. Where property's there? kind of up in the air. They okay. haven't given us any title documents, and it's been about a year. Yeah. And. Um, there's a lot going on. People have asked us questions about that. Maybe I'll get into that later. But yeah, we sunk about a thousand dollars in dirt. Um, we, 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 which might be a sunk cost at this point. But we put a thousand bucks out right. to try and get dirt because I'm I've been in the horizontal construction industry and and dirt's either a blessing or a curse. <laughs> and when it's when it's a curse, it becomes really expensive. So get it while you can. Get it while you can. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the uh, this is the access way, which you which is two meters right now, but yeah. will be two and a half meters, which is a hundred inches, big enough to drive any car down, and that's the important. Bigger, thing. big enough to drive my uh, your monster, my uh, my yellow big big banana down. Yeah. I can down I can drive too. the big banana through that one, Chrissy. Yeah. It'll fit down there too. All right. Which, which by is, the way, is a really nice. A lot car. of people think it doesn't work, but it does. Oh, it does. Yeah. So, and we just got power yesterday. Perfect. At the, at the side. Oh, perfect. Not to show your digits on your meter, but there's that's, a power that's meter. That's not mine. Ours is that one. Perfect. This I just, so, I just showed somebody else's. <laughs> that, I don't think that one's working. Yeah. They can get doxxed. Well, we just we got it yesterday, and on Monday we got it at the little place we're renting. Sounds uh, like there's a lot of cocks around that. here. Yeah, not to be derogatory. This is this is a guy's farm. It's not where he actually lives. He lives down right by the beach. Okay. Um, okay. So, oh wow! Yeah. So 
There is. Uh, this is the workman check. Yeah. Hundred something of cement in there. We uh. We call it a lo the love shack in our on our Samar property because uh, we think that's what probably goes on there. <laughs> that was vintage. My friend here says it's a vintage motorcycle. It sounds like it's something without a muffler on it. There you go. Oh, you got quite the crew. How many how many guys well, are working? Actually, here? there's 16 guys who work here regularly. Those guys are just doing the delivery. Okay. I don't think we have all 16 here today. So uh, is cocoa lumber cheap now? No, it's cheaper than it was I think right after Typhoon because it was 22 a board foot. Okay. Now it's 20. 20 a board foot. 20 a board foot. Originally, it was what, 18? Yeah, it was 18. Yeah. yeah, it was 18 when we started this in November. November. So. And then, because of the gas. Yeah. yeah everything else. So. Yeah, this, gas is double. This is just our little rest area and uh, uh, dirty wow. kitchen sort of thing. Because on yeah, Saturday yeah. night after we have payday, we have a party till about 9. 30 or 10. Oh, yeah, yeah you gotta the, you gotta spend your spend half your money right well, we, we off the day the, after payday. We, we provide that, well, that is payday Saturday. They work Monday through Saturday. We provide the, the tuba and uh, some food, and there you go. <laughs> so. Chrissy likes tuba. No. There you, go. you don't like tuba? Uh, I hate the taste of it. You don't want to come to Samar and drink tuba with me for hours with Larry? But you have to add buddy? Pepsi to it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They don't add Coke. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. Don't, they don't add Coke, so yeah. don't mention Coke. Though. Oh, gotta, Pepsi? Is gotta be Pepsi. Pepsi around here? Yeah, Pepsi is much better. So okay. this right here is going to be a full bathroom, the outdoor bathroom for the uh, guests. So there'll be a, okay. a shower, uh, the sink, and the toilet. Very nice. And then underneath uh, the stairs right here will probably be where that steel tank is with my pressure tank. Yeah. And my... Uh, um, water filter and my water uh, uv yeah yeah so this so, is this is a no a no um hollow block construction no this is solid and we can go see that yeah let's and, take a look yeah, at that let's go see how they're, how they're doing let's today. um you know what let's take my osha approved boots okay okay some bamboo Okay, I'm gonna... The uh, bamboo is the first time we've had it, and it's so we can put tarps over the top of the deck because you, you can go up there and see they're going to put the uh, rebar yeah. for the uh, for the cement uh, cement deck. How are you mixing concrete? Over here. We're okay. Seventy-one thousand. The uh, hardware. Well worth it. You got oh you got a mixer. Oh yeah, well worth it. Seventy-one. This is a lifesaver. Yeah, you don't want to have poorly mixed material. You, exactly right. And, Especially on your structural and, components. And, and you don't want uh, don't want too much water. Mm -hmm. So um, so it takes about three and a half minutes to do a mix. Yeah. And we're doing one, two, three, which is one bag of cement. I've seen people build with the, the little shaker table, the little shaker, well, see, shaker the, the, thing. The shaker like... table is for when you're doing the uh, coating on the outside. Oh, okay. So you don't have any rocks in there. Otherwise, they just... Yeah. Break for these guys to get out of here. Can somebody get a decibel meter on there. I'm sure that's not legal. Highway Patrol is going to get them. <laughs> yeah. So, is everyone doing doing things in what square meters or I just I, I, yeah cubic meters? Well, that's, that's we. I always thinking. You do it cubic yards, but then you just convert to cubic meters. Just because everybody. It's like when I, when I tell them it's 18 feet, or when I tell them it's a 39, uh, 40 inch doorway. Yeah, yeah. They say, oh, a meter, because it's a meter. Yeah, so I'm going to. Everything. When you have your. Yeah. When you, whenever you have your architect do it, they're going to do it in meters. Uh, and your engineer, they're going to do it in meters. So just keep yeah. converting. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a. I got a little app on my phone. It converts everything. Yeah, that's that's going to be an interesting one for me going from... But this, I know other people say, oh, the labor's cheap and we just have a mixing. This does a better job of mixing what? and it saves the, them getting worn out. To me, the to me the quality aspect of it... Right, exactly. Are you vibrating the concrete? No. We uh, have punch rods where they do whatever. And uh, yeah. you've got this little area back here. This yeah, is you a, got a little rock pocket you know, action right so, there. So basically what happened yeah. was this was uh, this was my foreman teaching me a lesson. 
because I explained to them that I wanted 27 liters of water, uh -huh. which is what it should be for the uh, one, two, three mix to get yeah. the, uh, the 4,200 PSI I want. Well, they dumped, so they were very strict that day and I wasn't yeah. there. And so they dumped three dumps. Well, you know what three dumps means. It means it's not getting put in right away. Yeah. So the stuff down towards the bottom. So that was me getting taught a lesson. Okay. So uh, that's easy to cover over. And this is all going to be covered with the tile and a mock -in anyway. Yeah, yeah. So that was that was them going, okay, you want 27 liters per thing? You got yeah, it. Yeah, you get what you asked for. <laughs> so but that's the only place we've had that. This little pour. Right yeah, it looks, looks pretty that. smooth. Here's a rebar. And they just use this right here. We have so you got you you got a you got bar every every twelve inches. Right. It's What's, 12 what what number what number bar? That's uh, twelve millimeter. Twelve millimeter. I don't know what number that is. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, half I'll look inch it up. Or okay. Something like that. Because uh, yeah, it's half inch because uh, twenty five millimeters is an inch. You're gonna you're gonna get like tw twelve people to tell you what number bar that is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's everything is twelve millimeter except. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the main beams work. And this is all being poured. This isn't like where you do hollow block where they pour a beam. Yeah. This is all being poured at once. The beams are being poured at once. Everything yeah. is, is basically getting poured all at once. So what do you do about cold joints? Well, it's not really that much of a problem because when, let's say when this, uh, we put this up, we make the pour. Yeah. The next day or so they can do, uh, they can pull it. But what we always do for any time we've got a cold joint, even though it's not, sometimes they're not very much delay, it's a day or two later, yeah. is you always go and you, you run water over there, yeah. pour the water down, once this is together, you pour the water down, yeah. there, and then you take a uh, pretty much straight cement slurry, yeah. and just slip that in there, yeah. and... Uh, like, I wonder if you stuck some rebar, like, in the, kind of, to dowel it or something like that? Well, but that's the whole thing. The rebar goes all the way through. It goes from the, from the this rebar is down, two feet down there. That's why I'm not a structural engineer. Right. Yeah. And, you know, this, uh, are you catching all this construction talk, Chrissy? Is this, uh... I understand, yeah. Yeah, you are. You're, uh, you're, you're into slip forming and all that kind of stuff? No, but I do understand what you guys all are right. talking about. You're, you're, she's, um, she's got this done. You got it down. You're you're gonna be a property baron. That's right. And you see the little. Uh, that's where we put the uh, the little PVC. Yeah, yeah. We just that's where the uh, the all thread goes through to hold the two pieces together. Oh, okay. And then you just tap it out. Yeah. It just literally pushes out. And so these all these little holes will get filled with a little uh, just a little you know concrete and sand mixture. Yeah. But it really doesn't matter to me because I'm putting drywall on the inside. Yeah. Oh, you're drywall. I'm gonna drywall too because concrete reverberates yeah and uh, karaoke that's all i'm saying so. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's cox and karaoke christy the two the, the yeah, well not the two c's but the close to it Ho hopefully we don't hear the any of the uh, neighbor's roosters because <laughs> yeah. four inches and then we're gonna have yeah uh, on every every surface in here the ceiling everything yeah. is gonna be drywall right? yeah and then tile floor because yeah. but uh very nice. So what's this? What's this? What's the square footage on this thing? Uh, just under a thousand square feet. We've got. Oh, okay. Uh, this is twelve by sixteen master bedroom, and then the bathroom's over there, and the yeah. part is hall. Okay. And then uh, back in this corner over here is where my electrical panel is going to be. Okay. The whole thing is going to be run by solar. Um, but I'll, wow. I'll show you that. Are you gonna Are you gonna be catching rain too? Or you got a well? Uh, actually, the so when we put the no, we don't have a well. But when we put the, uh, there'll be five inches in the front, four inches in the back. So yeah. all the rain will run to the back. There'll be the E back there, and the big blue tank out there. That's my rainwater tank. Okay. But I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna use the rainwater to flush the toilets. Yeah. And water outside. That's all the rainwater is gonna do. Yeah. Because I don't have to have pressure to flush the toilets. You know, it just it'll be back there in the back below the level of the roof. Yeah. You won't see it, but. Uh, so that, that, well, I was telling Chrissy we don't have much running water right now, so I was telling Chrissy oh, no. use, the... use seawater. Oh my god! It's... You guys, you guys use, that tank? use seawater. They do it on Catalina. It's going to get like. You know where Catalina is? Catalina. Island. I'll take you to the Catalina wine mixer someday, Chrissy. You're gonna have a, gonna have a blast. They only have what motorcycles and do they have cars over there. Just motorcycles and golf carts. I used to. I'm maybe giving away too much of myself, but I, I um, 
I, I did some work over there, so I, I was constantly going from Long Beach, California to, to Catalina, so I, I knew a decent amount about the history of that island. And, uh, but they, yeah, they use seawater a lot, unless somebody wants to correct me and say they don't, but that's the, what, what's the thickness of the, of the uh, roof? Okay, the, so uh, the BB roof, the actual roof will be five inches, and we've seen that from up the top stairs. It'll be five inches in the front, four inches in the back, so it has a natural slope. Of it. Yeah. And these, uh, the walls are four inches thick. The beams are, they run across here. And, and the thing is, one of the reasons, besides the size of the property and the setback that you're required by law to have. Um, like three meters, the building yeah. had to be three meters from because there's a two meter road lot out there. It had to be three meters back, and okay. so that's what drove the size of the uh, the house itself. Plus, if we would have gone over twenty feet, yeah, six meters, you have to start putting um, columns in the middle of the room, like okay. that room over there would have had to have columns in the middle. Yeah, I didn't want that. I wanted wide open spaces. Okay, and there's just two of us. We're old and yeah. You know, we just need a master bedroom and a guest bedroom. That's all yeah. We really have. Plus, plus, once you open up more area, you know what happens, Christy? In the Philippines, when you start to op get a bigger and bigger house with more and more rooms, people all of a sudden, sudden start showing up. Yeah, I know. And you're like, you're like, what are the names of these people? What? Why are they here? Why, why are they on the payroll? Oh. <laughs> don't cousins. Or yeah. Don't don't ask me how I know this. Don't ask me if I had this conversation with my wife the other day. Like, what the heck is going on? Do we need an upstairs maid when we don't have an upstairs? <laughs> yeah. Do we need a guard here for a little yeah. bit of a... I know. But hey, it gives people time. Well, let's get up there then. Okay. Okay, I'm always interested in how people come up with their stair length and configuration. Yeah, one because, the, yeah. One of the keys for the Philippines is make sure it's on your architectural drawing. My architect said, oh, don't worry about it, so you can change anything you want. But when my people look at the plans, they want to do what the plans say. Well, yeah, of course, they don't want to deviate. Actually, a lot of them do want to deviate because they, they want to cut costs. I've been a, I've been a contractor before. Right, but then you know. Not, not, not necessarily on this type of work, but I understand how the game is played. So... So, yeah, the one, the one disagreement that I would have with you is maybe the stair. I know he doesn't like stairs. God, it's this, it's Steve's house, man. They're just like this. It's, just, it's, it's, it's uh, perilous. It's, it's perilous. Yeah, they were. That's what originally I. And then had. once you get your tile on here and something, it even fills it out even more. Right, and and so. Yeah. The original thing was we weren't going to have this at all. Uh -huh. But guess what was on the architectural drive? Yeah, yeah. Four foot wasted area. This was all going to be stairs. All over the way here to there. And step up yeah, no landing. With a 20 inch landing. Just a six inch landing. Oh, step okay. Because you don't yeah, really yeah. need it instead okay, of being like landing. Okay, so you lost the angle then. Yeah. A little so bit. I, I, by the time we uh, had the discussion, yeah, my wife just said, just let me go. Stuff in the bar didn't need So what are you paying to load on the dirt? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> said it was like 500 pesos. Yeah, that, I think that's the going yeah. right. So we just, uh, we're getting about two of those right now because like I said, get it while you can. Yeah. But anyway, it needs a handrail up here, trust me. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. The, su the suicide stairs are uh, one of my... Yeah, oh, you, there's the Navy guy. That's the Navy guy and you right there. You just turned around and you're facing the stairs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm old too. I just I just spent two months on my back pretty much. So. Oh, what happened? Sciatica. Oh, I had that once in a portal. Yeah, it was real, real bad. So um, I'm glad to be back to life because he was uh, my caregiver for like two months. That's... I swear that's worse than giving birth to a child. At least for a guy. A sciatica is the worst pain I've ever had in my life. It's it's horrible. She saw me suffer through this, suffer yeah. through it. So I'm just so glad I'm on the other side. I've got another nerve pain that I'm taking from uh, the VA gave me. So well, that's good. Have They're you had that before? Me. Uh, it's flared up before, yeah. Oh, okay. So it um, might come back. 
Yeah, I could come back at any time. It's time to cut my hair again. So we're asking the question everybody wants to know, which is what is the budget? What is the cost? So we know a little bit about the cost of the land right now. So somewhere between a thousand per square meter and 1700 per square meter, which is a really big swing of numbers. But for the budget that is shown on this one. So we're going with currently, uh, we estimate should be 600 bags of cement, which is about 150,000 pesos because it's uh, 250 a bag. 150,000 pesos for right. 600 bags of cement. Bags of cement? It's basically five bucks a bag. Okay. And then another dollar for Sahara, which is a waterproofing thing that you, that you mix in with. Yeah, what kind of admixtures? Did you do any That's, research on the admixtures? Yeah, that, because... well, that was the one that everybody says. I mean, everybody I've ever talked to, even when they're just doing hollow blocks, says you got to add Sahara because it's a waterproofing thing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, There's uh, got to be something else, though. I mean, as someone who's got mixed designs from really sophisticated companies um, doing marine projects... I really wish I would have saved some of the mixed designs yeah. to see what some of the admixtures they were adding in the Well, their because when they work. go make it, because we're making M20 concrete. Okay. And uh, what they're doing is 25, 30, 35, 40. They've got all What's that What's M20? Is that a, P, what PSI is that? Uh, it should be right around 4,200. Oh, that's really, that's really. Well, but you know, when they get the really big boy stuff like what you did or like yeah, yeah. buildings and stuff. But this is about, this one, two, three mix is about, and really it's one, one and a half, one bag of cement, one and a half bags of sand. And three bags of, uh, of the aggregate. Well, if I if I th remember correctly, it's like fifteen hundred or twenty five hundred is kind of like your your residential sidewalk, and then you start getting into your structural around three thousand, right? And then five thousand, then you're really starting yeah. to talk about serious stuff. Well, and and this, and I'm not worried about that in the first place because this is only one level with a roof deck. It's not that big of a place. Yeah. But why not make the best concrete you can make? And some of this is just me talking because there's going to be a, hun a, a thousand smart people in the comment section that won't be trolls that are going to come up with some interesting um, things to talk about on this conversation. So we have, like I said, about $3,000 for the sand yeah. and for the cement. We're looking at probably close to six for the sand and gravel. And we're paying about a six thousand dollars, which would be three hundred thousand pesos, um, and that's for. So you're 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 fifteen thousand dollars in just to this. No, no, no. We're three thousand plus six thousand, so we're nine thousand in. Oh, okay, I thought you were adding another six. No, no, no. So, so it's three plus six, not three plus, three plus six, so, six plus so nine. Six. So okay. we should be we should come out definitely under ten for all the concrete for the whole house. Okay. And then the uh, rebar, I had that figured out. Uh, Chrissy, Chrissy just spent ten thousand dollars in like a couple of weeks. So there you go. What can happen? I mean, we could pretty much build the house with that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so there's there's going to be about um, we we have all the rebar we need. This yeah. Is Tim MM is going to be the, for the deck and for the uh, I mean for the roof deck and for the. Uh, you know, something Inside. that I was always thinking, and maybe there's a smart person out here that can can think about this, and I'll put the camera on my Typically side. what I've seen next to the ocean is epoxy-coated rebar. Is there any way to epoxy-coat rebar? Because anytime I see rebar exposed here, the elements, it immediately gets eaten away. Okay, I'm being shown something right now that I'm now learning. All right, so as we're talking, we came up with this which is island rust converter. I feel like anytime I see rebar exposed, like with, you get a bad, uh, you get a rock pocket or something or something mm -hmm. falls off the concrete and um, you'll just, just see the eat rebar immediately getting re eaten right. away, which means there goes your structural section. And this, basically we spray this on, Yeah. Uh, especially after Odette, because Odette was kind of hard on some of the rebar. Um, oh yeah. And we had a, a, a four weeks where we didn't work on this. We were working on other people's roofs but, yeah um so we spray that on that right before we do a pour you mean you stopped what you're doing and help people that's a whole bit yeah i i i can imagine you, you, you know can how that goes so yeah no no people think we reappropriated to other things don't realize how much it, it took out of us but yeah yeah sin especially around here not yeah you. um but yeah. uh so we'll wind up spending, I think, about 350, which would be $7,000 on all of our steel, which is the, this rebar 
you know, there's a, uh, th this rebar is used for the stirrups, which are those little square things that go around up there. Yeah, yeah. And it's also used for the matting for the floor downstairs and the floor upstairs. And uh, then 12 millimeter was everywhere. And then we right. had a couple hundred of the, uh, of the fit, uh, 16 millimeter, which was in all the columns. And in the, some of these columns go down yeah. about four or five feet. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. another interesting question. Yeah. So you got some, you got some footings. Yeah. So the footings are the major corners. There is a. Well, I guess you got footings and columns, which are probably two different things. Right. So you've got the, you've got the big columns that go like this, yeah. and the footing. Yeah. The important thing about this is this only goes down about twelve inches. Wait, the what dirt, is this? This the like dirt, the dirt, actual dirt here. Yeah. Only goes about twelve inches, solid it, rock. And then you got rocks. So yeah. then well, that's a good thing because then you just break out the, you let the guys have go to town on the chipper. Yeah, the jackhammer. And they hammer. spend some time. Yeah. So you rent the jack, you get some jackhammer time, which is fine. 800 pesos a day. Yeah. And because uh, we're looking at the same thing in our Samarland. It's it's pretty much rock. Yeah. Like I said, so, this, is, this is between. I don't know, know what that does to your septic though. This, okay. So this rock is very porous. Where does the, where does, so it's porous rock for your poo. It's, it's but very, it's. Well, see, it's very porous. So. Like this septic tank is 12 foot by six foot by five foot. Yeah. Which everybody says too big. It's got three chambers. This is the big chamber. For well, the you're food. a military guy. You got to overbuild. <laughs> this is the military. <laughs> I never have. To, I never want to have to clean it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is. Everybody's looking at me like, why? Do you I've do spent. That? I spent um, six or seven years on federal construction military jobs, and yeah, everything gets. The, the thought process is like, well, they're never going to replace it, so you got to do it right the first time. Right. And so yeah. this is the big chamber. Yeah. This is the gray water, black water, gray water. Okay, and so then, you got three sections where right. it flows to. And then we have a really small section that the yeah. water is never going to get into because when we had big drains, when the, uh, big rains, when this was open, yeah, it would get inches of rain, and then a couple hours later, it'd be empty. Oh yeah, so, so you just need you just yes. need a couple of time. You can buy yourself a little bit of time then. Yeah, so okay. it, the only thing we ever have to do is make sure that we're we're. Uh, See, Chrissy, look, is this, look at this. This is this is septic tanks done right. You don't put it underneath the, the house. Right. You don't put septic tanks underneath the house. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be six feet from any of the, the uh, oh, six concrete. Oh, six feet. Six feet from any of the concrete because <clears throat> otherwise the area around there gets overweight. You know, I was on a not to speak too much about myself, but right. let's flip the camera around. Let's 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 flip the camera around and talk about some of my great experiences in there life. Go. And um, I worked. I worked um, right when I got out of Iraq. I was in the National Guard and I came back to my job. And my job was um, the septic. The septic tanks were getting eaten away in uh, in Broad Beach on Broad Beach in Malibu. And you guys can look this this up. So all these celebrities and all these um, big name people and very very wealthy people. <laughs> they were environmentalists, by the way. They're environmentalists, right? So, so literally, all their shit is is getting their septic, their septic, which is just your poo goes in and then it goes into the ground. So, all these environmental minded people had to basically they're going straight to Schwarzenegger, the governor at the time, and they're like, "Hey, we need an emergency um, uh, rock and put in front of our all our backyards." Because their septic tanks and all their poo of these uh, really wealthy people, to include Spielberg, uh, Eric Schmidt of Google. Um, I won't mention some of the names of the people that were very, very nice to me, um, who I met. But um, there was uh, some big actors and that kind of stuff. I actually had one of the wives call me on my phone. It was really weird. But anyway, side story. Lots of, I have lots of stories. I think we've seen, I think we've seen quite a, quite a bit. But the... The last thing I'd ask you to share is what what would be the we kind of have your costs on the concrete and structural aspect of it, but what do you have like an all in all in budget number that you're so, shooting so for? You, you know well, what? I'm saying for the house, yeah. all in done. Yeah. You're walking away. Are you spending a hundred grand? Are you spending fifty grand? Are you no. spending? Are you spending forty grand? Are you spending? I'm spending, I'm spending are you spending less 40. than forty grand? I'm spending under forty. Okay, so you're spending less than forty grand for this. I figured actually I'd be like. 30 something into this and then yeah. i'll wind up spending maybe 10 on the uh, uh solar okay so when i have the solar and all the stuff done you know when i start when yeah. you start talking about tile and stuff that goes up and then you've got other little things like the 800 a day 800 pesos a day for the, the jackhammer yes yeah. you know all the other little things nails etc to, to build all this cocoa yeah. lumber i didn't mention that i spent a couple thousand on cocoa lumber don't ask me how or why so, yeah 
you know, uh, the old pipe and vice thing that they do in the States would be much better. Yeah. But. Well, you got to pay someone's uncle that's got excess cocoa co- yeah. lumber, so. Yeah. Oh, and but, but, I mean. And you're leaning on the worksite uh, uh, outhouse. Oh. Oh, back, go back in the, the work. That's for the guy. That's for the poo-poo ghost? That's okay, I won't, I won't dive into that thing. <laughs> um, so I guess we'll come back and visit you, Sean. Oh, yeah. In the, well, when it, it looks, it looks, uh, yeah. this is really the type of thing that I was kind of talking to Chrissy about, about not, not doing uh, hollow blocks. And she's like, you can't. You can't build it without hollow blocks. I, I'm not that construction person, so I don't You're not a construction major? I'm not you watched, a construction You watched, you just watched, a, you just paid for a house, Chrissy. You're at least somewhat knowledgeable. The, the difference though is, is for hollow blocks that we both know aren't that strong, they put about that much concrete on the outside, yeah. which is not structural at all. And that uses way more concrete than I'll ever use for this house. Because you're talking about some of pure concrete and sand. And they throw it on an inch thick on this side, an inch thick on the other side. Yeah. And But it's not structural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hollow block. Yeah. Hollow. And it's made out of sand yeah. and, and cement. It's not yeah, they're pretty easy to break. Even the Class A or whatever they call them here. Well, our neighbors over there are building one, and uh, they had a pile out there yesterday. Yeah. And every every time that one fell over, yeah. it broke. If it, if it hit the ground, it broke. Yeah. All right. It's yeah. scary. Well, they have they have survived the typhoons though. So some of them. Some of them. Down there on the beach. Some of them yeah. Over. We we rebuilt a couple of them. Yeah. So, uh, well, everyone appreciates that, and it's kind of necessary to build goodwill in the in the community. I think as a foreigner. You think so, Chrissy? Not necessarily. No, I can just go around and do whatever the hell I want to do in the province. <laughs> That's why people come to the channel. Exactly. It's for it's for it's for it's for real life commentary with Chrissy like that. Oh, unfortunately, she's probably like my wife. Who says, yeah. You're too loud. You talk too fast. <laughs> you know. You're too. Just. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys have been married for how, how many years? Since 2000, 2000, so 22 years. Oh, 22 years. Yeah. So she she's actually I think I think that that the continuum actually grows ex- exponential on the talkback. So I think Chrissy's uh, still in the early stages of. Love giving me all the trust me when i got here things changed because yeah. over in america i'm kind of yeah. normal over here i'm loud i stand out you know what you know what there's a lot to be said about what just was said there because there is a lot of initiative that i would take in my own country that's just like okay boom like how much more initiative am i taking on things now that i have a car that i'm a little bit more set up here i kind of know where things are versus the early days of our marriage when i really had no idea what the hell was going on exactly and, the, and we'll end the we'll end the video on that. So thanks for sharing, and we'll, we're going to come back. And uh, is this a is this a chapel? Is this the prayer room? <laughs> They've got an on-site chapel here. All right.